All right, everyone. I uh, just want to do a little showcase of my language learning material so far. So, as you can see, I'm actually learning like nine different languages. Here's the French words and context, for example. Since I am learning French, not as much as a, uh, not as much as the priority of Japanese, Russian, or Spanish, but luckily for sure, this is like. French is pretty familiar, um, yes, there's, like, okay, Japanese words in context, for example, 200 most common Japanese words in context, and I use these books to, to help me with my vocabulary a bit more, as you can see, luckily they have the hiragana with the, over the kanji, so, but yeah, the kanji will eventually make sense as I do have. But for those who haven't had the kanji memorized, I mean, you only have to memorize like hiragana and katakana to read these things, which is pretty cool. So, and then eventually the, eventually the, the the kanji starts to make sense later on, but. I also have books for practicing writing kanji, like this one right here. And this one. This is kind of a workbook here. Which is pretty cool. I gotta say, I'm actually pretty ecstatic that I'm getting much better at learning Japanese. Like. Yeah, you'll see, like. You see what they'll tell you how the kanji means, how they get their design, you know? So there's that. Chinese words and context. Mandarin, yes, I'm learning Mandarin, but not as much as a fast pace as the three priority languages I mentioned before. What I like about this one is it uses pinyin because Chinese is a tonal language, okay? Woku ge. Yeah, I'm still trying to. Still trying to to get the get used to the tones in Chinese. I'm still trying to get you. It eventually, it'll eventually happen. It will eventually come in for me. You know, I like how it uses Pinyin for this. Makes it much much easier. You see right here. Mm -hmm. See, so yeah, there's that. I also have like these kinds of books too. Like I have one for Mandarin, French, Spanish, and of course Japanese. So yeah, this 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 also helps me with additional information as well. Turkish words and context. Now thankfully Turkish is in Latin, but it should help me with the word order. But so far I'm getting so good in Japanese that it's probably gonna help me with Turkish instead. But yeah. But Turkish is a very agglutinative language. And yeah, some of these words are really hard to pronounce. Really hard to pronounce. Korean. Korean words and context. Now, I still have not gotten used to the Hangul script, so it's really hard for me to understand what it what it means. But these but these little things. These little things in Latin help me a little bit, but so far I find Korean to be harder than Japanese, basically because of the fact that the com the the, the pronunciation is way way more complicated. So yeah, there's that. Learning Korean. I also have this book too. Um, this should also help me with a lot of stuff. I like. I, I like kind of like the character designs here, so uh -huh. yeah, I, I'm learning Korean as well. Not as not as much as higher as high as pace as Japanese, but but still, Arabic character writing for dummies. This okay, so as you can see here, this would help me practice writing and reading Arabic. You know. It should really help me because you know most common Arabic words in context. Notice how notice how there's no Latins right there. 
So you have to know all these words and be to be able to read them, which is kind of a bummer, but maybe because there's not enough space for it, I guess. Yeah. And you read it backwards, too. Mm -hmm. 200 most common Russian words in context. This is actually the first of these, these books that I got. 200 most common Russian words in context. I definitely have the Cyrillic figured out, which is good. I mean, I'm... This is my one of my higher priority languages, by the way. You can see... Gatori Chess. Yeah. It's, yeah. I know some some numbers in Russian so far. I know how to say senses in Russian, but I'm not always up to date on the numbers in Russian compared to my Spanish and Japanese. As you can see right here, short stories in Spanish. I bought I bought this in Great Falls, Montana. As you can see right here. This should help me, this should help me with uh, with uh, learning Spanish as I go on. It's one of my higher priority languages, so. Okay. Most common German words in context. As you can see, like, get fluent and increase your German vocabulary, 200 phrases. Now, German is really similar to English, by the way. So that should help a lot. I mean, my sister's learning German, but the reason why it's considered harder than Spanish is because there's some words that are like really long, like G winning to win. Look at that. Get winning, get winning, whatever. Sorry if I butcher that. Sorry. 200 most common Spanish words in context. Look at that here. Yevin, Malice, mm -hmm. Red Network, interesting, Bandera. Yeah, as you can see, like, being in Mexico, like, I, I, it, in, it has increased my Spanish vocabulary a lot. So this does help me with the Spanish. I mean, Spanish is, like, really easy in my opinion. As for like Japanese, I consider it more of a time-consuming language than a hard one. Once you're able to get figure out the word, okay. Like, short story was in Russian for beginners, as you can see right here. I mean, it also like gives you a quiz on how did how it goes. I like the pictures too. I, I think these this art style is really nice. I really like that. So yeah, also, it also gives you like new words to help you with as well, like, as you can see right here. This should really help you with your vocabulary and stuff like that. Help me with the vocabulary, not just you but me, but, but yeah. 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 Yeah, su the Suwaku. Suwako, no, what is it? Suwako, no, fuck me, what is it? Suwako, yes. Suwako, Suwako, <laughs> sometimes I'm a retard, but yeah, this is my Suwako Fumo right there. I got from Japan. And this bag, which the artist Maruti Bitterman, Koyamori, I fucking love that artist. Oh, I got, oh yeah, and stories that I have in Japanese, you know? I, you know, when I was in Japan, you know, I would order like manga from there in Japanese, like like with some really obscure ones like Go Gatsu or Ochaka, Ochik, whatever, Ochik. Oh yeah, Ochika tea. Yes, it literally translates to make tea party. So, as you can see right here, what I like about this one is it substitutes the harder kanji with the um, with the uh, with the katakanas. Uh, I'll try to find. Try to find where it is. Yeah, as you can see right here. So it should help, you know?
So yeah, I mean that's that's not the only books. Like I have a shit ton more. Like okay, this one, this one too. You know, these are like really, really old. These are like really old character designs right here. But yeah, as you can see, it substitutes the harder kanji with the uh, katakana, so you could be able to read along much better. So, so yeah, that's since I couldn't find short stories in Japanese in that Great Falls, Montana store, I went with I at least have these. So yeah, and I also have that Monly thing too, Monly app. So that should help. So yeah.